the bags. Now it's done. <laughs> yeah, it's all good. Uh, now then, I'm going to start with uh, with the pom pom mix. So all you all you're going to have to do uh, for this is cut out two rings just from yep. that cardboard from a, a cereal packet. Make sure that okay. the outside of the ring is the size that you want your pom pom to be. Uh -huh. uh, so put the rings together and then just start wrapping wool all Winding. around it. I'm using black wool. Okay. okay yeah. I'm going to create a bit of a surprise here. I'm not telling anyone what pom pom I'm making. But okay. Here well, we go. you get winding, yep. windy, 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 and meanwhile. I'm going to show you how to make the other variety of handbag charm. Oh. Now, well, I've been very busy collecting bits and pieces here, and I've got loads and loads of beads. I've got a little bell here from an old cuddly toy, and I've made some little balls of tin foil. You'll need lots of bits and pieces like this, and you'll also need a piece of netting like this. Do you recognise that, Matthew? It's that was full of my chocolate coins. Yes, you often get novelty chocolates <laughs> in the, those little packets. What you need to do, you could get satsumas in them, but they might be a bit big. They might need mm. to be cut down to size. Uh, cut one half off so it's open, and then you just start popping your beads inside. Now, once you've popped a bead in, you need to get a bit of thread. I've got some festive gold thread. and you need to get winding. So I'm going to carry on with that, Matt. And Meanwhile, back at the pom-pom, <laughs> yeah. uh, here we go. And uh, uh, there's a, a ring that I wrapped a little bit earlier on. And as you can see, I've tied uh, mm. some white wool to the black. And now uh -huh. I'm going to do a layer of white wool all the way around in exactly the same way. Just keep wrapping. There we go. Wrapping and are you, are you, winding. Are you wondering why I'm going for white? It's uh, all part of the surprise. No, I'm just thinking you're making a black and white pom pom. That's no, all I'm thinking. Exactly, exactly. Now, meanwhile, <laughs> shall I take over while you're doing your, uh, yeah, your yeah, wrapping and your winding? Uh, I have finished popping my beads in there. How nice is that looking? And I'm ready for the next stage. So I've got some more pieces of my festive thread. Mm -hmm. And I'm going for some smaller beads now. And I'm going to tie these beads at intervals up my gold thread. So while I do that, Matthew, if you'd like to take over again. Absolutely. <laughs> when you've finished wrapping all of the white, it should look a little bit like this. And then take a pair of scissors and carefully cut between the two pieces of cardboard Whoa. which are careful, hiding Matt, in there. Careful with that. This is not easy stuff. You might want to get an adult to help you with this. Do you need my but help? Just with that? cut down <laughs> and go all the way around. You can see there the pom pom is starting <gasps> to appear. Oh, it's man. it's looking good. It really is. When you've got all the way around and it's all it unfolded, fluff. it should look like that. Look Ooh. at that. That's really very nice. And then Connie, if you could just give us a hand opening up yes. that cardboard. I shall open the cardboard. Because for you. on here I have two ears. Part of the surprise there. Oh, hang on, it's just going Ooh. in there. Uh, with a black and white body and two ears. Hmm, wonder what that could be. Hmm, <laughs> I wonder. <laughs> now, meanwhile, Cheers. next door, I have been busy threading my beads on my gold thread. And now I'm ready to tie them onto my main keyring. So you just tie it on at intervals with a little double knot, and that will hold it in place. And mm. you can also see that I've popped a key ring there at the top. Oh, no. One oh, of what's happened, Carl? Off. Look, never mind, never mind. The others are still there. Uh, so you could get an old key ring, or you can often buy key rings in, like, crafty shops to pop on. I'm going to keep <gasps> tying. Matt, in the meantime, will you take over? Well, yeah, I was, I'm just a bit shocked at the moment because I've just pulled one of the ears off. Oh, no. Uh, but anyway, My not to worry. My fell off. Your ear fell I'll off. Hold it what up. is going on? I've put a metal ring at the top of the piece of string. Uh, you can see I've got two ears there, and then I have... Um, some little eyes that I'm going to put on here as well. There's one eye. Can you see a wonderful <gasps> dog being oh, uh, it's <laughs> developing here? Oh, that's there cute. we are. What about that? Uh, I'm very pleased look, with that. She, there she, is. <laughs> she doesn't look that impressed Meg, at the moment. You don't look very interested. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not surprised. It looks a bit weird. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> it'll look a lot nicer if you've got more time to. Yes, uh, to Matt's do. been rushing his Meg, which is why she looks a bit dishevelled. Yeah. Now, meanwhile, <laughs> I've uh, hung my dangly things onto the main uh, charm and I'm ready to pop it onto a handbag. Do you like that? It looks good. It looks it? great. It looks I might keep this to one side because it might just um, upset the handbag. I'm but, very um, pleased there we are. with my uh, dangly. Yeah. Dangledge. Anyway, it's nearly time uh, for a wonderful party. But before we uh, have a look at Dex, let's see oh, what look. he's been getting wait, up wait, to. Wait, 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 model a handbag. First. Oh, okay. Let's see what he's been getting up to <laughs> uh, in his first year. Sure, he'd love this. <laughs> This was the first time we all saw Dexter. 